Okay, let's try this next one. Um, we'll calculate the density of, or the mass of a sample of air. Okay, so um, gases normally will have uh, very low, low, low densities, and that's you know usually why they're on top of everything else because um, you know they have a very low density. Remember that experiment that we did um, earlier. But anyways, uh, the problem says air has a density of 0 0.0, so let's this way, 0 0.0. 013 grams per milliliter. Okay, so notice very low density. Um, uh, what is the mass of six liters? So we know the volume is six liters, 6.0 liters. What is the mass we're looking for? Of six liters of a sample of air. Well, Remember, again, this is not the way we want to write the density if we're um, trying to use it in a problem. So let's just go ahead and rewrite it real quick. Or one milliliter. And notice liters and milliliters won't cancel out with each other, so we're going to have to convert this to liters or this to milliliters, whichever way you prefer. Um, so let's just convert this one to liters. Because, you know, usually uh, gas uh, densities are actually given to you in liters. So what do we know? There's 1,000 milliliters per one liter. So if we do that, remember from our last, uh, last lecture that uh, milliliters will cancel, how to do dimensional analysis. So all we've got to do is multiply that by a thousand, so one, two, three. Okay. So we got 1.3 grams per one liter is the density. So we know the volume of this sample too, and we're looking for the mass, so if we, use, we got liters here and we got liters here, if we cancel those out, we'll get the mass here. So we don't even, we didn't even really have to, here, let's just do that before, I go on to, so this is how you get the density, right? Density equals 1.3 grams per one liter, and then you multiply that by six liters, or this is how you get the density, you get the mass this way. Um, and cancel, cancel, like that, and then you just do 1.3 times six, and that gives you 7.8 grams. So uh, that's the mass of 6 liters of air, 7.8 grams. Not very much. Pretty light, actually. Um, but notice, we didn't even write down the formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. And you could have done it that way. So let's do it that way, too. We can manipulate that formula, remember. So we're looking for mass. So we want to isolate that variable. Right, so how do we do that? We got to multiply that side by V, and if we do that, we got to multiply that side by V. So cancel, cancel. So we got V, V equals M, right? So do we do that? M equals the volume, which is 6 liters, 6.0 liters multiplied by D, which is the density, right, which is what we calculated here. 1.3 gram per one liter. Cancel, cancel, and of course, to two significant figures. Why to two significant figures, two significant figures, two significant figures? Remember, all those leading zeros are insignificant. So. Again, you don't really have to remember that formula if you remember canceling units. That's what the whole point of learning how to cancel units is. So that's actually what a lot of general or introductory chemistry is. So if you learn that now, it'll really help you later. I promise you. Okay, cool.